Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Today, I have something very exciting to show you all. And as you can probably tell by the video title and the description, what it is, but I am very excited to try it out for myself as well. So this is the first time that the NTE mod, the Nemo Transit Expansion mod, is officially added to the server, the server side of the Let's Play server. So in the past, people could just choose to install it on their client, but now it's required on the server as well. So if you are having trouble joining the Let's Play, that's probably because you don't have that mod. So make sure you're using the mod updater and following the instructions on the Discord and you'll be able to join. So this is also my first time trying out some of these new features. So I am at Kala Station right now and I am planning to head towards to head northbound to take a look at some new lines. So take a look at this. Doesn't that just look realistic? And the frame rate is really not bad as well. I think most of this lag is coming from the automatic platform gates, the route map renderings, rather than the rails. So Nemo has done a lot of work on the rails in the past, past few months or even a year, I guess. I forgot how long Nemo has been working on these. But this adds OBJ models. If you don't know what OBJ is, is a file format for 3D models. And you can parse it in Minecraft, load it as triangles, and render it in the world like this. So that is a lot of work as well as optimizing how it renders in the world so that it doesn't lag. Because in Minecraft, if we render these trains using the normal Minecraft rendering method, it's very slow. It's not optimized. The way the Minecraft Java code is written, it's not very optimized as you might have seen in like other videos and other people talking about Minecraft. But Nemo kind of used different methods in the code to render the 3D models. So then you can have huge sections of track with very little lag. So as you can see, my frame rate can still get to about 30 even though usually it can get down to like 10 if there's a lot of trains rendered. So this is very impressive and I'll show you more in a bit. Alright, NG Man is here with me on the train and I've just gotten off. This is the section that's kind of closed off for, for alighting passengers only. So I've just gotten off the train and I want to take the train to let's run through real quick Ostania so is this train I think this is a local train to Twilight Spruce does that mean it's not getting to where I want it to go we'll see wow this just looks really cool first person view with 3d rails and in the lush cave I'm getting about 130 something FPS here so that is really good given that these are complex 3D models I know that people have been asking for 3D rails in the past for this mod and finally here they are in the form of an add-on I have also talked to Nemo about integrating these features into the core mod itself that is a really good idea but since this is a different rendering method there tend to be bugs that come up. So just to be safe, we are keeping it in an add-on for now, but you can always go download it. I'm going to put the link to the Nemo Transit expansion in the description so that you all can take a look and download it for yourself. Go and support Nemo as well, because this, this, has, this has been a big project, and Nemo has spent a lot of time on this. Very impressive. It even works for Mac now, I know there's been a hot fix, hot fix posted recently because if you're using a Mac for some reason it's not rendering properly but those things should be fixed. So go ahead and check it out. I'm on the sightseeing local line eastbound. Just wanted to show a few more shots of me in first person 
Looking at the beautiful tracks, I think the left side splits off to the express section, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, the express section goes around us. That's why there are two tracks here, so the express trains can bypass us, and then the local trains stop at the platform right here. That's really cool. So this is Zunis Station. Wow. The sides also have nice decoration. Alright, let's keep going. The sightseeing line does actually go pretty fast compared to some other lines on the Let's Play. So, wow, there's two parallel bridges. Local in the middle, express on the sides. I wonder if the trains go faster on the express. So then you can kind of like see a train speed by you. That would be really cool. Oh, here's a little crossover of some sort. And we're going down. Interesting. This makes it just feel so much more realistic. I'm very impressed. Like it's very smooth as well. Feels like I'm actually on a real train going down the tracks. What station is this? Spring Pond. I wonder how well these tracks adapt to the Minecraft shaders and smooth lighting. I know that Nemo has tested this extensively on shaders and stuff like that. I think it even renders better than the trains right now in the mod because the trains use the Minecraft rendering method, meaning that there's less chance that it'll break shaders, but it also means that it's much slower and there's less customizability. Just the main thing is that the default Minecraft rendering method is very slow. So that's very unfortunate. I wish Minecraft did something about that. But if they did in the future update, that'll also mean that the older versions would break if I'm trying to release the mod for multiple versions at the same time. So I don't know. Maybe it's better to keep it as an add-on like this. Alright, what station are we at? I think we might need to get off and change to the express because the local only stops at Twilight Spruce, I think. So this is a single track platform. I don't know which way I'm supposed to get off at, but I don't think it matters. So we came from the resort, went through a few stations on the local, and now we're here. Alright, so this way continues to Ostania, and here you can also interchange to Oculus Center, and the other way goes to Ostania as well. Let's see. So this train comes in one minute, the Bond Line to... Oh, this station layout it looks pretty cool actually. There's like a little concourse area in the middle. Maybe this line is still... No, it's not work in progress. It's still running. Also, there's a little hidden secret on the roof of the station. I know this because Nemo posted a screenshot of this yesterday. And if you come out here and take a look, you can see these nice diagonal beams rendered by 3D models. What block is this? That creation object? So I think you're supposed to use a brush on it. And you can choose objects imported via the resource pack. For example, if you have a 3D model you want to place in, you can just add it like that. And then I think if you stop holding the brush, it will stop showing the spinning thing. But yeah, this is a really cool way to import 3D models in the game. I think what Nemo did here was this support beam. So see, it renders like that. So it's just one block here. It renders like that. Wow, I'm really impressed with this and how well it looks. It reminds me of like 
You know those Lego pieces that don't look like normal Lego bricks? They're just like different shapes. Yeah, that reminds me of that. So they're not square blocks, but they're still Lego. And then you can put them in special orientations using Lego Technic pieces or something like that. So this is the Guangzhou Metro train. It's one of the very first add-on packs made by Eric. Or, I mean, this is one of the first add-on packs made by the community. And this was made by Eric. So this is a Guangzhou Metro Line 1 train on the Bond Line towards Ostania. Look at this. Does this feel realistic? This gentle curve. It's much better than just looking at two lines on the ground. Two gray lines on the ground called railway tracks, right? <laughs> Next station is West... West Tellis? Interchange for the Sightseeing Express. So I think this section parallels the Sightseeing Express now. So we could have gotten on the Sightseeing Express or we could have gotten on the Bond Line. And they both go the same way towards Ostania. Look, there's another train on the other side. I'm just really enjoying this right now. I know that this mod has been out for a while and people have been installing it client side. But I've never got to experience it because I was afraid that stuff will break on video. But trying it out for myself is really cool. So I don't know what signal we're waiting for. Is there a train up ahead? Can't tell. But on the system map, yeah, you can see that they are sharing tracks right now. So maybe that's why the trains have to wait sometimes, is because of the sightseeing train, and then we've got these trains as well. So if I'm holding a brush, I think that'll make the rail node show up. If I'm not, then it won't. Nemo did a lot of code injection for the main mod as well, using what's called a mix-in in Java. Which means that in an add-on, you can change the default behavior of either Minecraft Vanilla or other mods by injecting some custom code into it. So I think the rail node has been changed to use that type of rendering. And I noticed that when I hovered over it, something popped up, but the train moved so I couldn't see it. So when we get off, we can also check it out as well. And then later, I also want to show you what special things you can do with this mod. For example, what types of customizations you can do on Rails, the different types that can show up. There's really a lot you can do. Actually, while we're on the train, let's take a look at the inventory, see what we have. Where is the tab? Nope, not this, right? Is this the Jobin mod? Does it even have a tab? Oh, maybe it's just in this <laughs> inventory. There's a train departure bell. Okay, it looks like there's only those two items. I did a search for it. What station is this? Tridoron. Oh, I think I know what happened. We were stuck behind the sightseeing line express that came before us because I saw that both trains were coming in a minute. So maybe that train came a little bit before us. So we got stuck behind it at the other station. Oh, this has bounced door animation. Just noticed. All right, well, we're on the final stretch, I think almost to the end of the line and then we can change to Eifert Express Phase 2. Alright, this terrain is just also very beautiful to look at. I'm excited for Minecraft 1.20. The pre-release just got released a few days ago, but I'm excited for the official release for 1.20. It feels like every Minecraft update 
has some cool features that would make the world on the Let's Play much better. For example, cherry blossoms. I'm excited for those to be natively implemented in Minecraft. There's going to be an extra wood type, meaning that you can build with cherry blossom wood planks and stuff like that. Because right now, I don't think Terralith adds any new blocks to Minecraft. That's also kind of why we chose to use that mod as well, so that it won't break anything else. Or like clients, clients can still use join the server without the Terralith mod. But oh, I've been here before. This is the Sunny Bay Station. Yeah, I really like this station. This is supposed to be the Disneyland Resort Line platform. So it's funny to see Guangzhou Metro trains on here. And look at the beautiful scenery out here. This is a bamboo jungle, I think. Wow, we've got ads which show the different stations. Looks like whoever updated or imported the Guangzhou train into the Let's Play didn't add destinations, which is okay. The original train was made long before this feature was added, so I don't blame them, or I don't blame Eric. Wow, I'm just very impressed by all the progress here. Actually, there's been no new changes <laughs> since last time, but I'm really impressed by like the 3D rails, the train, just reflecting on all the things that have been going on since the mod was developed. All the work from the community, all the add-ons people have made, the custom trains, it just really makes the community grow and feel more like real life. So <laughs> that's really cool. So this is a beautiful station. Where was I going to go? I forgot. Since I realized that we have already checked out this area already, so we came from Jonathan's resort right here. Oh, Metro Blossom East Line, but this is still work in progress, so I'm not going to go there right now. So we've taken this Eifert Express back and forth last time, and we've also gone to Sunrise to see the ski resort. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. It's one of the episodes in Season 3 as well. So go on my YouTube, go through the last couple of videos. That one should be the one about the ski resort. So I've also been to Fairview and a lot of things are still work in progress. I've been over to Einsberg, Reston, Intermodal. Last time Andy took us there. What else is there to see? I think we've been to Denthrope, Upper Hillside. And we've been on the Azalea CL. And is this part new? Oh yeah, the Cupid line is new. So maybe we can take a ride there. And check out Akivan's new stuff. So this part is built by Origin Railway, also known as Akivan. That's his name. So let's see, how can I get there? So we are very far. From there, I don't know how well the system map is going to perform in terms of pathfinding. Okay, well, I'm not going to wait for it to finish finding the path. I think it's pretty clear that we have to go to the Danielston Memorial HSR and then take the train down from there. So how do I get to the high speed from where I'm at? So I think we need to take the train back to Jonathan's Resort, take the high speed to spawn, and then from spawn, take the Danielston HSR to here. And then we can take the violet line that goes parallel to the Cupid line. Okay, let's do that. Wow, there's like three trains pulling in at the same time. Looks really cool. Where does the sightseeing come in? I guess the sightseeing comes in at the same, on the same tracks as these ones. So let me just jump on the train, and I think this goes back, wait, how come they're showing on different maps? Hi, 
Hmm. Maybe there are two platform rails? I don't know. But I don't know why this platform 3 is showing the two different routes on two different route signs. Oh, there's a sightseeing train. Alright, so we're gonna head back to Jonathan's resort. Does this train go to the resort? I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't just jump on a random train without knowing where it goes. This train goes to Oculus Center. So from Oculus Center, we can take the light rail to Jonathan's resort. I think that's where the light rail goes. Yeah, so there's a there's like two routes that go from Oculus Center to the resort. But it'll probably be more efficient to change at one of these stations to the next sightseeing express, which is right behind us. So I guess I'll just get off wherever, like here. Maybe check out the station a little bit. This looks very much like a standard MTR station too, but like a nicer one, not the older ones. So next one should be coming when? In one minute, okay. So we have a little bit of time to check out the station. This is Tridoron Station. I think this is just a bug that is not loading. It's not the fault of the station designers. This part is a bit empty, but I think it's fully furnished, like it's done. So exit B and C, exit A, there's a river here, and then there is another exit to the plains and then valley. Cool. Oh, who's there? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a visitor is trying to visit the same places as I am as well. Okay, well, the train is here, so I'm going to take the train. There's going to be three stops to Jonathan's Resort. Or I can just take it the whole way to Cyan Heights, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change for the high speed at the resort, just so that we can get there faster. And then at the Terminal 1, I think that's where we can take the train to the Danielston Memorial. Do we need to go to Terminal 2? I forgot. It's been so long since I was building the high speed lines, but I think we need to go to Terminal 2, right? We'll find out. <laughs> okay. For now, let's just enjoy the ride. This train actually goes really far, all the way from the east to the west. How long does the trip on the train take? I don't know. Alright. Okay. Now we're at Jonathan's Resort. My beautiful food court is still here. Hmm, what happened to this sign? I think it's just a rendering bug as well. So let's just head on up. Let's grab a quick meal first. Grab a quick breakfast. We'll just cut through the queue. <laughs> Say hi to our chef and our minions. They're helping us make breakfast. That guy's holding a railway dashboard. If you still remember me building this in one of the episodes. What is what platforms are here? It's just the sightseeing express, so we don't need this London train logo. All right, let's go back up. This is still here, and we're going to go to the high speed. No trains yet. Wow, this is such a throwback, meaning like, it's been so long since I was here. It's so long since I built this thing too. But now there's 3D rails. Oh, actually, we can just take the next train as well, but I wanted to show you what the mod can do. The Nemo Transit Expansion mod. So I'm gonna go grab myself some rails and rail nodes for example let's do diamond and then i grab a rail node so once i hold rail related items 
you can see that the colors come back as well. And then the nodes are also marked in yellow. L8 meters, R80, and P. Oh, I see. So if you want to see where this is connected to, you can see that the length is 100 meters for this rail right here. The radius is zero and the slope, I think that's what that means. So let's test it out. It's okay if I miss the train. I'll just get the next one. But if I make a rail like this, let's see what this says. 360%. So the length is five meters and the pitch maybe, that's what that means. The pitch is 360%. And then let's see if I do a 90 or let's do a 45 degree turn. See what that says. So 45 degree rails are a little bit tricky to make because if you don't align them right, it's gonna complain about the radius. But here it says radius 9.7 meters, 239.2 pitch. That is very useful because there's been plenty of times when I'm looking and like, I don't know where this rail connects to. So I also wonder what happens if we have multiple rails connected to the same node in the same direction. So what will this show us? Okay, it'll just show you the nearest one you're facing. It'll be cool if you show both. Yeah, that'll be useful for builders, but this is already a really good feature and just wanted to test what happens if there are two rails stacking on top of each other like this. I guess this will just show the shorter one? I don't know. Okay. I also know that... Hmm, wait. If you click on these nodes, you can have additional options. So hold down shift and right click. This sets the function of the brush. Right click on others to apply in batch. So this, these are some options where if you right click the brush, you can apply the model. Or if you, I think this is just defining the right click actions on the node change vertical curve radius. So there's two options you can do when you right click on the node. You can either apply the model or you can change the vertical curve radius. I'll show you these features one by one as well. So right now we'll select apply model. So actually, wait, let me redo that. I'm a little confused on what that menu was, but it's okay. So. I shift right click here and then apply the model. Right now is the default rail. If I want to use the reaction plate rail, this is what that looks like. Shift click again, hidden. You can have the rail totally invisible and when I'm not holding anything, you see there's nothing here at all. So keep that in mind. I'll show you some applications of this later, of the hidden rail. So again, NTE built-in concrete sleeper. That's the one we have, the default one. So I think the default is just the sleeper rail. NTE built-in depot rail without the horizontal sleeper. So this actually looks pretty good on depot rails because sometimes you have like a a trench here where you can stand here and fix the bottom of the train. That's what people do at the depot. So you can have an elevated track like that. This also looks kind of cool by itself anyway. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can play with here. So this is page one of one. I guess when people import mo more rail models in as resource packs, then it'll show up here. But for now, Let's try the vertical curve radius. And for that, I'm gonna need like a sloped rail. 
So let's do something like that. Something simple. So you notice that with the mod itself, just the default behavior is that the rails curve when until they're flat at the ends. So sometimes that's not what you want. So if you do no curve, it'll be completely straight. See that? And I don't want the, I just want default just to see. So you notice that the ends are completely flat now. Like that. So which means you can do a completely flat rail from one side to the other. Let me show you what I mean. That wasn't very clear of a description. So let's say you're trying to build an incline railway like this, and you have multiple nodes like this. By default, the behavior will be like this, and you have a little bump right here because it always tries to flatten out at the node, right? But if you don't want that, shift right click the node, change the vertical curve radius to no curve. And I guess you have to do that for both of them. Oh, I think I know what that right click thing means. So it's basically binding a tool onto the brush. So if you want the brush to automatically apply, let's say the reaction plate rail, once you right click on any node, it'll turn it to reaction plate rail. I just bind, I just bound the tool to my brush now. So whenever I click on a node with a brush without holding shift, it's gonna turn it to the reaction plate rail. So on top of that, I also bound the tool to change the vertical curve radius to no curve. So when I right click all these nodes, this will be perfectly straight. So this is a perfect use of this feature for incline railways. If the vertical curve radius is set to default, remember what I said earlier, it will make this bumpy. So you probably don't want this for your incline railways or cable cars or whatever. So shift right click again to change the behavior of the brush, set it to no curve, and this will be perfectly straight. So I think this is a really cool feature that I would definitely want to get incorporated to the main mod as well. So you can all enjoy this feature. But for now, remember, I've posted the link to the mod in the description. So please go ahead, support Nemo and download it. So let's uncheck apply model because I don't want everything that I click on to change the model. So let's try some different values for the curve radius. Real life values for reference, 4,000, 3,000 for different types of railway lines. Max radius of this, okay, this is just some information about the rail. So let's do, ooh, it changes dynamically too, which is cool. So one, 10, 100, 1,000. Does that not do anything? Or is it maxed out? If it's yellow, I think we maxed it out. Is it because it's curved? Let's try this again. I just, I'm just curious on what the behavior is. Okay, well, you all can go ahead and play with this yourself. I'm not going to spend too much time on the video to talk about this mod because I want you all to go check it out for yourself. This is a really cool... Okay, I guess the shorter I do it, the less options it gives me. That's part of the math it does. But please go check it out for yourself. Again, the link is available and it's also on the let's play so if you're joining the let's play you can also enjoy this as well although you probably can't build if you're not a builder anyway just explaining some of the basic features of the mod let's jump on the train and head towards danielston memorial all right just coming down to terminal 2 of the spawn terminal 
I just saw a train go by Danielston, so oh well. <laughs> you just had to wait for the next one. So it seems like there's still not very many lines on here right now. Don't run across the tracks like this in real life, by the way. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> but I'm just looking at the platforms and they're probably all empty except for the Danielston line. Oh, there's another train. That wasn't too bad of a wait. They are frequent trains. And just one more thing about the Nemo Transit expansion mod. There's also some settings you can access using the mod menu. So go to the... If you have the mod menu mod installed, it's literally called mod menu. Go to... Yeah, if you go to escape, go to mods. You can adjust all the options of different stuff. Like this is the main mod settings. And... This is the Nemo Transit expansion options. There's a few things you can try, like if you want to disable 3D rails, just click this checkbox and see the rails. It's hard to tell in the tunnel, but see, they're just rendering like normal now. Okay, let's see what other options there are. So there's a steam locomotive you can choose. I guess I can show you that in a second because that's an additional train that comes with this mod just bundled with it by itself and then you can hide trains and hide the train on which you're riding so see it's just like when i was recording my first person videos and you saw that train just went by it only hides the train that i'm on so it doesn't doesn't hide the rest of the train so you can do nice first person videos like my other videos too, please go check it out if you haven't already. Anyway, those are some of the options that are available. Very useful, so I don't have to switch out the mod constantly. Show rails, I guess this just hides it, yeah. Okay. So this is quite a long high speed line, that's why it's taking so long to get there. But we're going up, I think we're gonna get there pretty shortly. It's been a long time since I've taken this line as well. This is like the southwest area of the map. And I haven't gone there as much as like the northeast. That's why I haven't really taken this line very much. But are we almost there yet? I thought we were getting close. Alright, we're slowing down. So we should be nearing the station pretty soon. I just saw a train speed by in the other direction. That was pretty cool. Let's see how much people have decorated the station. Nice. It looks a little bit more developed than I was when I was here last time. There's a waiting room here as well. Waiting house. <laughs> Alright, so this style is definitely very different from my other high-speed station style. So this APM connects to the main part of the station. I think I've showcased this last time, but I'm not sure. Okay, so Danielston Memorial, you can change for the Hanakoshi line. Violet line, circulator, IT. Okay. Oh, what is that? That's like a crossover? Because this part is single tracked, I guess? I don't know, what was that? Alright, anyway. Here we are. And... Let's get off the train to the Violet Line, I think. <laughs> These low ceilings get me every time. It's like you can't jump and run. Because if you do, you're going to hit your head. Alright, so I think both sides go to the Violet Line. And it goes to Callus as well. Why are there two different destinations? So we have to make sure we go to the water smeet direction. 
There we can change the Cupid line as soon as the next stop. Okay, so I guess I'll take the lift down. Did we just miss one? No. That was just the other way. So yeah, this side goes to Watersmeet, so I'm lucky so I don't have to wait 4 minutes. Because if I went the other way, I won't be able to change the Cupid line. So, let's just wait here for now. Yeah, it makes sense on the system map because the train splits off into two separate parts and then the Cupid line is down at the bottom. Then I think the Mount Birch line is also part of Akivin's projects. I know Akivin has featured the Cupid line on his YouTube channel many times, but I don't know about the Mount Birch line. And that goes up to Shirakaba Mountain from OTS's lines. So once this train comes, I'll end up at this station, Ashwalbanon. Don't know how to pronounce that. What is this cable car line? I'm curious. Okay, you can take the cable car from Danielston Memorial down to there. Which I've also done before, but not to when the Cupid line existed yet. So I've got to make sure I don't miss this train or else I have to wait. I don't know how long. And of course, the violet line is using purple trains. I thought these trains were used for the Elizabeth line on the server. But I don't know. Maybe they're using K trains for the Elizabeth line. But anyway, I really like this retexture. As I said in the last video, last Let's Play, the 377 is like one of the most retextured trains. And it's. Yeah, it's one of the nice trains. Nicer trains that I've made, I think. So we are heading down. We just split off with the other line right there, if you didn't see. So we're taking the left route going south now. And then the next station, we can get off and change the Cupid line. Just seeing another train pull out at the same time. But yeah, we can get off at this station. The station is Ashwalburnon. Oh, it's the same platform. Cool. So the next train will be Cupid Line train. And it's going to be a four car train arriving in about 30 seconds. That's nice. We don't even have to change platforms. Hmm. This concourse design is interesting because the lifts are like hidden behind this wall. Interesting design. And I don't know why they're pointing to different directions. Maybe because Cupid line trains are shorter. Oh, they're using 377 as well. Nice. Platform two. The train two I like this livery too, but maybe that's just because I like pink. Please stand clear of the platform doors. <laughs> this is a four car train. Nice. If and they have to hearts board, too. The arrows on the <laughs> doors that's very trains. cute. I like that. The inside of the train is blue though, but the doors are pink and it says mind the gap. <laughs> I like this retexture, it's cute. Alright, so I think some of these stations are repeated from the violet line. So we're going to be sharing tracks for a few stations and then we're going to branch off. So I've never been to this part of the server before, I don't think. So let's take some time to enjoy the ride. Approaching Egg Harbor Station. Nice. Wow. What's in the middle? Is it just like a water pool? Nice. And I like these ceiling designs too. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is Rosemary Station. Very nice architecture. I really like the striped walls as well as the use of these London Underground crossbars. 
and how the roof curves up like that. I would never have thought of doing something Back like one, that. Two. And then the pattern two, two. on the ceiling, I think it's a Virgin random station. pattern, but whoever made this has doors. done a really well well done job if with laying board, out the lights. The Actually, arrows, the lights are not random, but gates. no, I do see a pattern. It's like a piano, actually. It's not random at all. I wish we had more time to look at that station. Okay, maybe we'll come back to it later in another video or something. But I think that was a piano on the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, what is this station? <laughs> this has a lot of color on this station. Ozaki? Ozaki? Nice design as well. We've got that space between the escalators again, just like the other station. Next station Gore we we campsite. campsite. Oh, we're going up. Are we gonna go above ground soon? I can't tell. Okay, this is Gorwi Campsite Station. This feels very cozy. Look at that. London underground walls and court stairs on the other side. And the exits also resemble London underground style as well with this little arch here. Or see the other train on the other side as well. Trains really drop my FPS a lot, so if eventually we can move all the train rendering to use the code from Nemo Transit Expansion and we can get hundreds of FPS at spawn, that would be the dream. Because right now I think railway signs and stuff are kind of optimized, as well as the automatic platform gates. So I think what's left is train rendering, and that takes a lot of resources. And with the current Minecraft rendering style, it's very slow. So if we can get that optimized through rendering methods developed by Nemo, that would be really awesome. Oh look, we have a little track switching here, and we're pulling in into the station right after the curve. So what is this? Shek Ho. Directly, phonetically translated from Rock River. This is like a little village station. Akivan has really improved his buildings since the Sandtown server. And this is a really nice station as well. Good architecture. Okay, let's see where we're heading to next. Taishek Q, Big Stone Bridge. I'm just enjoying this ride with the 3D rails. It would be perfect if the catenaries were in here too. That's like the two big add-ons currently that adds like really cool features that complement this mod really well is the 3D rails and the catenaries. And then for the Jobin client mod is the passenger information display systems. That's like the big feature of it. And then the London underground mod is the roundels and the different signs available with that. And then the curved platform or the tunnel blocks, the curved tunnel panels, so each add-on actually brings like huge, huge features that are very cool to the main mod. And fortunately, we have all of those to play with on the Let's Play. So that's why we've been able to build such cool systems. And look, we have catenaries up here. The next station is actually the resort. So Akivan tried to build a resort just like I did. And I think... 
it might be better than mine because I didn't really have much time to put stuff in and I've just been randomly pasting structures in there. Oh, the way these cables are connected. <laughs> I don't think a train in real life would be able to feed power off of that because the radius was just so sharp that the cables cut too much off the curve. But anyway, we are arriving at the resort. Look at that. Is that a Terralith castle? Beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> this design reminds me of something. Okay, anyway, I am I think I'll get off here. Check out the rest next time because I do have to go in a second. But this is like a good stopping point to this video. So next time, I'm going to continue exploring this area. Looks like there's an interchange here as well for the Mount Birch line. But next time I'm also going to show you the bundled trains inside Nemo's transit expansion, which includes a steam locomotive. So if you haven't already checked out this mod for yourself as well, tune into the next video where I will showcase that train. That's gonna be really cool, really detailed model. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. Go and download Nemo's mod because Nemo has spent a lot of time developing this. And these 3D rails add a lot of realism to the game. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Go and download the mod. Join the Let's Play by joining the Discord. Instructions are on there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.